So we are back in. It is rest day today. I've just actually boxed off my morning walk as usual. Rest day, every rest day, 20 minutes cardio, which has definitely, definitely helped me during this off season, just with appetite, with digestion, and just kind of keep me that little bit fitter overall as well, as the body weight comes up. So that's definitely been a game changer, staying on top of this, as we kind of push this body weight up in this. But I'm gonna jump on the bike now, 20 minutes review now as well. Then we're gonna get into meal one, and we're gonna get this rest day started. Here is my little setup here. There's the bike, there's Jem's track pads, that is the, the, the light for any kind of check-ins when it's dark. And this is the, the view out the back. Lovely. There used to be a horse in that field over there. But, the way, because Jem rang the RSPCA on it before, because um, it was limping and nobody was looking after it. So, uh, yeah, they, they took it away on us. Okay, so rest day, pit stop, in for a haircut. There is nothing more peaceful. I don't do much. So coming in, sitting down, getting a haircut, having a bit of switch off time, there is nothing better. Now, I don't know how long this will last because uh, this hair is getting pretty thin. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is. So uh, look, who knows? I'm in two minds, right? I could just, just let it run its course and then just kind of grow the beard out a little bit and just kind of shave it and buzz cut it. It could look pretty good or I could go to like turkey and, and get a transplant and see what way it looks some look good some look bad but uh i've seen a few good ones so i'm like oh do i do it i may i'm gonna have to shave my head anyway to get it done if i am so i might go i might shave my head see what it looks like but we'll see because uh i look back at pictures and videos from like years ago and it it was a lot better I look back and I was like, Jesus Christ, I, I peaked early. <laughs> but uh, we'll, we'll see. I don't know. Feeling fresher. Um, but yeah, that's what the game plan was there. It's pretty shit out at the moment. But honestly, I love the weather like this. Where kind of a bit rainy, a bit cold. It's starting to be. It's starting to get a little bit hotter over the past couple of weeks. And uh, yeah, Jesus, I feel it. Even at night as well, I've been asleep with the fan on again. <laughs> but uh, let me know. Well, I think most people do like the hot weather, the, the summer. But um, I think I'm the opposite. I do like the cold and I do like it just being... E even the rain, I actually don't mind it. Um, <sighs> it's Christ. I always have one of these two litre bottles of water with me. And I drink a lot of water. I drink like, what, maybe like six, eight litres a day. And uh, just because I'm thirsty. Not because I try and get that down, but I physically don't understand how people how people don't drink much water. So if people drink like a litre of water, it blows my mind because I'm, I'm parched. If I have like four litres of water a day, I feel dehydrated. So it's crazy how people have like a litre or two litres of water a day. Um, my mom is the worst for this. If she's watching, she'll know. I'm always like, for any time she comes over, I'm like, I don't know how I'm like, well, how much water have you drank today? And she's always like, eh, like half of this bottle. And I'm like, ma'am, drink this. Here's a bottle. Uh, but yeah, I'm just rambling at the moment. I'm going to head home now. Um, sit back down at the laptop and get to work. First client is going to be next weekend. The first show of the season is next weekend. PCA first timers. I cannot wait for a smell of Proton. Um, I can't wait for it. I'm living through my clients this year. I'm not competing this year, so I'm living through my clients. I'm busy a few months ahead, so uh, yeah, everyone's kind of lean and mean at the moment. So uh, very, very exciting couple of months ahead. And I'm really excited for this year. You know, there's, there's a lot happening. Um, there's a lot of kind of trips. There's a lot of client shows to go and see. Um, it's gonna be It's going to be an exciting year, an exciting year, even though I'm not competing. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm not going to ramble. I'm not going to ramble. I went from haircut to transplants to weather to water to client shows. But uh, yeah, that, that's that's where we're at. Yeah, I'm a hungry boy today, I tell you. It's crazy. Last couple of weeks, appetite. I wasn't as like starving. Uh, I'm still hungry, but like, not as starving. I did all of a sudden today. Like, whoa. <laughs> Fucking hell. Um, now, 
when it comes to that, last weekend I had a free meal, I had a five guys, and when I have a free meal, I feel like my appetite for baseline food doesn't be as high over the following kind of seven to ten days. So that's why I kind of stay away from free meals in the off season, like pr pretty regularly, to be honest with you. Um, not because I, you know, I don't want to have one or anything, but I just I like being hungry and I like being able to enjoy my day to day baseline foods and being able to drive that forward a little bit higher. Um, so for me, that's a lot more satiating and that's going to drive my performance way more rather than just driving them free meals in every week as well, which definitely has an effect on my digestion and appetite. Um, like I said, appetite's still in a really good spot, but definitely notice then the further away it gets from a free meal, just the hungrier and hungrier I get. So this weekend, I'll definitely leave one out again, to be fair. Um, I might even have something homemade. I think I might even get Jem to make... You know some burgers with what's already kind of on plan etc as well and uh she she said she wanted to make burgers so uh i'll put my trust in her and see if it's close to five guys but um, i might even go for something homemade um just to enjoy you know a date night that way and uh that will have nowhere near as much of an impact on digestion or anything so uh yeah but this is the rest day meal for you've seen this one before now, this potato has actually increased to 400 grams at the moment, which I am buzzing about. We have um, the peppers, the mince, the green beans, the apple. That is the game plan for meal for rest day. Um, yeah. Just on that note there, in terms of free meals, that's something I actually wanted to touch on as well. So you probably listen to this and be like, okay, but in an off season, would free meals not actually help drive your, you know, your calories forward? If you're looking to get more calories in, will that not actually help? But that's one reason as to why I think a lot of people struggle with appetite in off seasons is, and just from kind of what I've seen with myself and my own experience and then with clients as well, I feel like when you get into that mindset of being like, oh, let's just kind of have like two, three, four free meals a week, a meal in off season, it's going to be excess calories anyway. Great, I'm grown. That's great. It's going to be excess calories. But then how for how long can you sustain the appetite for? So if you're having free meals and off-plan meals, which are going to be very calorie dense, if it's affecting your appetite the next day where you're actually struggling to get your actual food in for a couple of days after, bear that in mind. So yes, it's going to be an influx in calories, but then if that's causing you to have a knock-on effect and miss other meals the following days, we have to look and be like, right, is that positive? Obviously not, because consistency-wise, we're not being consistent with the food intake on a day-to-day -day basis as of these free meals, which may be affecting appetite, etc., as well. So, yeah, free meals, etc., can be useful, especially when food gets really, really high. But it's super, super important to make sure that you know you're choosing free meals as well that sit well with you and digest well, and that don't actually have a knock-on effect to your appetite the following few days. So, yeah, just some food for thought on that one. You got delivery in the door there, so new blood pressure monitor because. The cuff on mine actually got too small, which means my arm somehow must be growing, which we will not complain about. So uh, yeah, a new blood pressure monitor. Um, I do this a few times a week, uh, not every single day, but um, I do this, take this first thing um, in the morning, a couple of times a week, and it's like soaking. So uh, I was looking at some plastic as well, because otherwise, they would have been getting a firm response back and um, I would be getting a refund. But uh, yeah, stay on top of your health, kids. Jam's got into the habit of, she needs raspberries. So instead of going to the shop, she's trying to make up a 40 pounds order to get Amazon fresh. <laughs> so, Mark, convenience you, is king. <laughs> Mark, do you need anything? I'm like, yeah, ketchup, beetroot. No, I need more. I need more. That's not I 40 need, pounds. I need 30 pounds of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> right, so everyone is being harping on about these. So obviously we had to jump on the bandwagon and uh, and get one to see what it's like. So Ninja Creamy, I hope it's worth the hype. Jam actually made one the other day, but I um, haven't had one just yet. So I think I'm going to make one this evening and then you have to put it in the freezer overnight. And then, uh, and then put it in this thing. I, th I think that's the way it works. So, uh, yeah, you can make difference. 
different things in it. So we're gonna give it a bash. It's supposed to take like taste like proper like legit ice cream. Um, but you can obviously put your own ingredients in it. So uh, if you can make ice cream out of like literally yogurt or whey or you know with stuff like this, it'd be fucking great, wouldn't it? So uh, yeah, I will let you know my verdict probably in the next video. But it's uh, it's fucking big. It's meant to be really noisy as well. It's like unnecessarily big. It is really noisy. Remember? Is it? Oh yeah, yeah. Right. So I'm like a creature of habit. I resorted to going to Aldi to get the shop rather than order it off Amazon Fresh. Amazon Fresh don't have Aldi. It's only like Morrison's and Tesco and stuff. But there's stuff I get in Aldi that the others don't have. And I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm very weird. I'm very particular. I go in here, my trolley be laid out the exact same every single time. Have a bit of like, I won't say OCD because people who have OCD, obviously it's serious, but have a little bit of like, I like being organized and just like routines with, with everything I do basically. Um, but tip for when you were going shopping, I have a plan, go in, have your list, know what you're getting, know kind of how much of each thing you have to get. And the reason why I say that is because a lot of people struggle going into shops because they'll go in and they'll spend so much time in there and they'll walk around and they'll just pick up unnecessary shit that they either don't need that ends up going in the bin and throwing food out is fucking criminal um, or it's gonna be in the house, in your press and you're probably going to steer off track because it's there. So if you go in with a plan, knowing what to get, also if you eat before you go shopping, you're not gonna go when you're hungry. So you're gonna go in with a clear mind because if you go in when you're hungry, you know, if you're in a dieting phase, you're gonna start fucking picking up random stuff and it's gonna lead to, like I said, again, you buying stuff that you don't need and then potentially leading to lack of adherence then with that creeping into your diet during the week. So I, I go in here, I know exactly kind of what I need to get of each amount. I'll go in straight around in out five, 10 minutes max and that's me good to go. But yes, I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna get this shop sorted. I actually like shopping. I'm like, do you know what? It's a waste of time. I don't want to go to the shop, but it's like a little therapeutic part, therapeutic, therapeutic part of the day that I get to go and just kind of walk around in my own space um, for a few minutes. So uh, yeah, I always find myself back here. But um, yeah, we get in, have my shopping bags. That's when you know you're a proper adult when you have your own shopping bags as well. And you know you're proper adults when you have a drawer in your house full of bags. I know if you're watching this, you you have a drawer a drawer in your house full of plastic bags and shopping bags that you'll probably use two out of it every time and the rest of them never even get used, but they're still there for the sake of it. So yeah, let's go in, let's get this sorted. So another thing that I've decided to try and bring back in is the, the CPAP. So I got one like last off season and um, I find it hard to get used to because obviously you put it on, obviously it's like, it's, like a, it's like a mask and when you put it on I feel like I can't breathe properly with it on. So uh, as I get heavier I'm like right, in the back of my head I'm like right I have one there. So like what if it improves my sleep, what if it actually improves recovery etc as well even though I don't necessarily need it right now. So we, we give it a go, I put it on during night I was like fuck this, this is... I, I took it off me, but I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a good try and like I said, sleep is pretty good at the moment, but if I can make it even better and make recovery even better, that's always my mind. That's like, right, how, how can I improve recovery? How can I enable myself and put myself in a better position to be able to train harder then? So uh, I will update you with this as well. But hopefully I can, uh, I can stick the fact that I, I wanna reef it off my face and uh, actually get through a few nights sleep and then hopefully it gets easier from there. So uh, definitely gonna, gonna keep it in and see. But um, yes, this is just a video of me kind of rambling. Let me know what you think about videos like this. I, I'm staying committed to the, the weekly uploads, but um, no training video, no kind of like full day of eating or anything. Let me know your thoughts on something like this, which is a bit more kind of random and just on the fly. Um, but yeah. I am gonna pretty much leave it there. I actually, I'm in the middle of getting new merch sorted for you form. So the hoodies are going to be back in very soon and new tees as well, which are pretty cool as well. So 
I'll have them all pretty soon, all available to clients. And then uh, once clients are sorted, I will make them available to everybody else as well. Um, but yes, that is pretty much it. I will wrap it up there. Um, next couple of weeks are exciting with a couple of big sessions, obviously for show the season for clients as well. And like I said, I will take you along kind of throughout that as well. I'm actually going to eat a salmon meal now. My salmon's in the air fryer. Then I'll probably make something for the Ninja, Ninja Creamy and I'll have that tomorrow. But uh, that is it. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. That does help kind of boost the channel up and um, kind of allow more people to see it as well. So um, that does go a long way. If I put an effort into these and kind of getting them out there, it's always nice to, you know, for more people to be kind of seen and hopefully benefit from them as well to, to an extent. So I won't ramble on. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.